everybody welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel i am key this is keys playing life so really really quick y'all i have to give you guys the budget for september i want to try to make this as quick as possible um y'all there have been a lot of changes <laughs> in this budget i think i finally got it right i have a few little kinks that i need to do but they will be implemented in the second part of september and then it'll be smooth selling from there so i think it is okay so as you can see august budget we had goals i feel like we met some of those goals <laughs> i'm not gonna give you the rundown you can actually see it over here somewhere that was august's budget so there's like i said there's big differences in september's budget so um we're going to get into it so for the hey everybody welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel i am key this is keys playing life so really really quick y'all i have to give you guys the budget for september i want to try to make this as quick as possible um y'all there have been a lot of changes <laughs> in this budget i think i finally got it right i have a few little kinks that i need to do but they will be implemented in the second part of september and then it'll be smooth selling from there so i think it is okay so as you can see august budget we had goals I feel like we met some of those goals. <laughs> I'm not going to give you the rundown. You can actually see it over here somewhere. That was August's budget. So there's, like I said, there's big differences in September's budget. So um, we're going to get into it. So for the September budget, what I plan to do is I'm going to put something on our vacation. I did not pay on the vacation like I should have for August. And I'm going to get into that in a little bit put um something on after pay and do a no buy well I, I i failed at all three of those and that's the great thing of having a budget and creating a budget you can always go in and fix your budget or adjust your budget to any changes that you that your household or your lifestyle might have and that's what i've had to do so i failed on my to-dos simply because as a lot of you guys know already i purchased a car well my husband bought me a car <laughs> My husband bought me a car, so I have a car. Um, and yeah, so the budget's out the window. Um, and some more things had to be taken care of that we needed to take care of. So the no buy went out the window. I did pay something on after pay, but not much. I did not put anything, I think, on the vacation. I may have put a little something, but I don't think it was much. Um, so we're going to try that again this month. Actually, we're not going to try it. We're going to do it again this month. And this time we will be successful. Um, the goals. The September budget, what I plan to do is I'm going to put something on our vacation. I did not pay on the vacation like I should have for August. And I'm going to get into that in a little bit. Put um, something on after pay and do a no buy. Well, I, I, I failed at all three of those. And that's the great thing of having a budget and creating a budget. You can always go in and fix your budget or adjust your budget to any changes that you that your household or your lifestyle might have. And that's what I've had to do. So I failed on my to do's simply because, as a lot of you guys know already, I purchased a car. Well, my husband bought me a car. <laughs> my husband bought me a car. So I have a car. Um, and yeah, so the budget's out the window um and some more things had to be taken care of that we needed to take care of so the no buy went out the window i did pay something on after pay but not much i did not put anything i think on the vacation i may have put a little something but i don't think it was much um so we're gonna try that again this month actually we're not gonna try it we're gonna do it again this month and this time we will be successful um the goals for september are to save which i definitely plan on doing minimal eating out which i definitely plan on doing and low buys 
and i think so far we're now on the fifth day of september and i think i've been doing relatively well as far as spending money on eating out because um me and my husband did a dinner i think on the first sunday but other than that we haven't spent any money eating out um my job catered three days of meals for uh, for us um today was the last day so i haven't had to spend money and anyway i've been packing my lunches i have my own personal refrigerator at work so i have like my yogurts my um juices my coffee creamers all this stuff is in the refrigerator and i'm quick to pack a, a bowl of noodles and bring it to work if need be um let's see oh and low buys i'm not my goal is i say no buys but it always end up being maybe a low buy so that's why i say i could do a low buy um but i really don't have any plans to spend any money as of right now <clears throat> i don't i don't see myself spending any money hold on uh let's see let's finish this up the savings and sinking funds as you can see my car maintenance fund because now that i have a car note and i have a car it has to be maintained we're actually because um it does it just reached sixty thousand miles so because of that we're going to do the sixty thousand mile maintenance on it we're taking it in on a 28 so we're going to get all that done but after that i will have a fund strictly for maintenance work oil changes things like that that need to be done and i plan on saving this month 275 and because i don't really drive my car especially to work because i mostly carpool with my husband so i'm not in my car a lot of times like next week and the week after that i have to drive a lot because our schedules are not meshing but for the most part i typically drive with my husband so my car doesn't need a lot of maintenance work done on it because I, i'm barely in it um emergency fund the emergency fund i'm putting a hundred dollars up for the month uh vacation i'm putting 75 dollars up and that's not including what i'm going to pay on the trip but i'm putting 75 dollars of spending money up um personal savings i'm putting 40 up and that's just my my own savings so um everything is split in half so that's how the totals come out so 40 so one paycheck i'm putting up 20 the other paycheck i'm putting up another 20. uh the total oh guys hold on okay guys so for my roth thirty dollars automatically goes in my roth every pay period altogether what i'm gonna be saving and what's going into sinking funds as well totals out to 520 my major money goal is to go to 540 so somewhere i'm going to find that extra 20 dollars and i am going to put it in one of my savings not sure which one my budget the total income is four thousand one hundred and forty dollars the total bill expenses is four thousand one hundred and thirty five dollars which leaves us five dollars left over so let's get into bills expenses and debts so the rent is one thousand and one just energy is 319 xfinity mobile is 329 um xfinity internet is 86 center point is 57 canva is 14 car insurance because our car insurance did go up um is 460 our now that i have a car note my car note is 400 it's actually cheaper than that but i'm doubling up on the payments capital one credit cards as you can see i have one two three four they all total up to 25 dollars, so that's 100 dollars altogether. mission oh well no the venture one is another one so that's 125 dollars. then i have two mission line cards i'm paying 25 on those a piece that's equals up to 50 so all together it's 175 dollars um let's see youtube youtube i pay 22 dollars a month i'm sorry i that's one subscription i'm not letting go uh, vacation i'm actually putting one 124 dollars paying on the vacation after pay i'm paying 204 altogether myself for the month i will be working with 200 dollars my uh the apple watches that my husband has and my daughter has totals out to 11 dollars because they're on insurance they want to keep their apple watches on insurance even though they're about to be paid off they still want them insured renters insurance that's something new that we have as well we now have renters insurance i pay 43 dollars a month fire stick that i swear by it, i 
it helps with wanting to have cable i like hgtv i like to be able to watch it when i want to watch it i like tv one i want to be able to watch it when i want to watch it i pay 14.98 for my fire stick uh groceries i help my husband buy groceries so that's 150 dollars a month that i put in cash app 99 dollars is um because i did y'all know cash app has a um uh, it's like afterpay they have cash app has a thing like afterpay as well so i owe 99 dollars on that so i'm gonna pay that off and be done with that but for the most part um those are all the bills that we have and that's everybody putting in their portion then doing their part so that's what the total came out to be and those are all our bills for the month within this household um yeah your girl gotta pay for gas and stuff now so things change um and i don't which is fine like a full tank of gas for me lasts anyway at least two three weeks because i don't really go anywhere if i'm not with my husband i don't go anywhere he normally drives every now and then he'll be like you driving but for the most part i drive so it's not a problem i mean he drives so it's not a problem and especially to work i don't really use my car now next week <laughs> excuse me next week i'm definitely gonna have to put gas in the car just because i'm gonna be doing a lot more driving but for the most part i really don't do any driving like this this work week i haven't drove i'm only driving tomorrow but i he's drove all this week so yeah i have a new car you, if you haven't seen my new car you can go look up here i will put it put it up here it's going to be titled car tour my uh, car tour or something like that but it'll i'll show you my car um it's a cute little um hyundai uh venue uh that was one of my top three cars that i wanted it was either a hyundai venue a nissan kick or a volkswagen jetta and i got my um honda venue because my husband did research and he said that out of the, all the three that was the best car so yeah i am gonna get out of here i'm tired i need to edit this video and get it uploaded to you guys um like i said any other changes that i am making they won't be they'll be really small they won't be big changes but i do have some coming um i will definitely see you guys in the next video remember to think smart spend smarter have fun planning it all out i do have some things coming to you guys really really soon i'm just trying to play catch up right now with videos with life there's a lot going on behind the scenes i still have a giveaway to do for you guys that on one of the planners that i want to do for you guys so yeah bear with me i'm getting it done it's just been a lot like from your girl catching covid then i caught a stomach virus then i had to we went and purchased this new car and my family situation has changed um so yeah we are getting used to our new normal so yeah I will see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions or you feel like I didn't cover something in this video, let me know and I will try to cover it in the next one. Until then, I'll talk to you later. Bye.